natural Viagra. Oh. But a lot of hub. It is so potent. All the hubs from the mountain, yeah, including Bob and D. It smells like perfume and alcohol had a baby. <laughs> We're here in Mongazo, St. David, and right behind us we have the view of the Caribbean. Beautiful, love Grenada. But today I'm taking you to see something very special. We're about to cook some manicou. What is that? That's a possum, bush meat. Let's go inside. My man, where's that possum at? <laughs> you know, I haven't seen it like this. Oh, this is like the real thing, huh? The real deal. Wow, this guy is like a big guinea pig. You got two of them. Did you catch that or that's roadkill? No. Nope. Shot it. Head shots. Oh my gosh, so how are we cooking this? We're gonna do a stew. A stew? Yeah, we're gonna stew it, brown stew. We're gonna flavor it up with some coconut and. Oh, make it nice and like creamy and yummy. Let's see how it comes. Let's see. Let's try it like this, but from scratch, so I don't cook it. No head? I don't like to see the teeth on it. Yeah, that's the thing about the possum, right? It's a little scary of the man who his teeth. He's like... <laughs> he looks like he was like... Yeah, it has to be if you catch <laughs> him in the tree hole, it has to be fierce as on a fight back, but when you catch him like this, they don't stand a chance. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. So you burnt the skin off or the, the, the fur. fur? Yeah. Take a torch. Sometimes we use the coconut branch. Light it. And it's possible. Scrape it off and then you wash them off. Yeah, because I was asking, I was like, why does it not burn? It's going to burn it. Yeah. Let's do it and then it's a flavor. Yeah, exactly. It's going to give it a nice smoky flavor. Yeah. Okay, so let's take this to cook. So the only thing you're throwing away is the head, right? Yep. We'll give it a, a fast clean afterward. You know, I have Maniku in my house. I have a small possum. He's so cute and like cuddly, but he will definitely bite me if I touch him, you know? So I'm okay trying them. Well, he should know better because look, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we actually tried uh, we tried manicu in Dominica, but we didn't see this. We didn't actually see the you know the body and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just saw it cooked. Little small ribs, huh? Tiny ribs. Chop, 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 bro. You wash it. So often time you see this dark spot, that's where the bullet enter. Oh, that's where you shot it? Yeah. So what do you use? Like a little rifle? Yeah, one, two bullets. So what are you doing now? I'm just taking out the fat. If this don't come out, it don't make it taste right. So like the glands and so. So it's not good with the fat? No, nah, it just give it that kind of, the flat have a rink. We just call it rink. rink. Yeah, like rink. It's, it's dank, it's yeah. dank. <laughs> yeah. It's so, like nasty. Yeah, you don't really want it to taste. And the fat. So. so you have like a small layer of skin, take off all the fat, mm -hmm. and then obviously he has a tail in there, he has everything, the rib cage, I mean the entire body is in there except the head, that's the one thing he removed. Yeah. I mean I would have kept the tongue, but some that's people, me. Some people do eat it, some people eat the head, but yeah, I'm sure, I don't sure. like to see the jaw. <laughs> so yeah, straight, straight you know, it's, it's funny because when I was in China, we had a rabbit and I opened his jaw and I cracked his jaw and it's like, oh my god, what am I doing here? <laughs> Hey guys, this is part of culture. They do this here, you know. I, I wouldn't have eaten a manicure or an opossum unless it was part of, you know, what people do here, right? Yep. So you've been doing this your whole life? Are you eating manicure? Yeah, man, growing yeah. up. Growing up, so I'm like... My dad and me so gone home time then. Yeah, man. So. One thing, yeah, we're gonna do it one day. I'll, I'll go with him one day. Yeah, but they, they used to go with like, at the end of a bamboo stick. We call it a bangane. It's a bang. So we had to climb the tree behind no. It. And just hit him. Yeah, but no, we just aim right and. <laughs> so what are you doing next? What are you adding to the manicure? Season them up, give them some flavor. 
in La Charabani. Yep. Culantro, guys. Complete season. Just had a roll in the van. Okay, John. Oh, that's good. It smells amazing. Right away, it hits you. That's like Louisiana right there. Mix them up. Sugar, brown sugar. Oh, it's all brown sugar? Yeah. Wow. Brown curry. Some people call it a curry stew. As you can see, it's starting the bubble, so it's yep. thickening up, right? Yeah, starting to get that syrup kind of texture. Mm hmm. Woo! It's hot. Yeah, so let me th thicken this up, move it around, mix in the curry with the sugar. Ooh, nice base, right? So once this is ready, we're gonna just drop in the manicou and then cover it, leave it there for like half an hour, and then it'll be ready. Oh man, it smells amazing. What else you got in there? Some coconut. Coconut powder? Yep. So mix it in. Oh yes. Nothing like coconut. Whoa, it becomes like a thick dough. There you go. Yeah, you gotta leave it. So you're gonna add some boiling water? Yep. Whoa. What do you think of that aroma? <laughs> it's lovely. Wow. Oh, you're going to add it right now? Look at all that. Oh, that seasoning is great. Wow. Oh, it's going to be heaven. What do you got in there? Maggie vegetable mix, extra flavor. All that coconut powder, add some more coconut, extra cream. It's nice and thick now, super thick. I'm not leaving anything here, bro. After the chocolate, I need something like this. Some homemade ketchup. So give it a nice, like, thick uh, tomato paste. I guess it helps it, like, um, I feel like it was thicker before, now we add tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Still gonna add water too. Yeah. Water to cook it. We get no water to cook it. So we gonna add some warm water to it. Lock it down and keep it in the temperature. Alright. There's some seasoning there, but that I don't know. Not spicy, right? Not spicy at all. I'll cut it up in no fancy way, just cut it. Ooh, I smell the heat right there, man. I don't know which one that was, but I felt that, right? No, but no heat. No? I just, I smelled the pepper. Yeah. Like when you smell, you smell that, you yeah, smell but, that heat. But, but this is not the, the hot pepper. It's no, no, it's not scotch bonnet. Yeah. No, it's not even slightly burning. So it's no, just a sweet pepper. It's just a sweet pepper. You know, it reminds me of like duck curry, man. Yeah. The, the, I mean, the richness of the curry, right? Mm -hmm. Nice and thick and brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's gonna be tasty. When we season and stuff, we don't leave anything back in the bowl that we season and put the meat in. We get, you use all that extra flavor to add back to the pot. Nothing, no. We call that nothing to waste. Yeah, nothing is, nothing is wasted. Everything going in the in the pot. All the quests. <laughs> And that's gonna close that in one second, right? Because now it's full of water. Are you gonna close it? Yep. Done? And now we're gonna wait 20 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat some delicious Nanaku opossum bush meat in Grenada. So next he's gonna make a big bake. So we have the dough, he's gonna put it in this small pan with butter and then throw it in the oven. I just wait not the stick. Yeah, not the stick.
And that's your break. Let's do it. All right, now we wait 20 minutes, and then we'll be ready. Oh, what's happening here? Yeah, smell it. I'll tell you, it smells amazing, but it does smell like a curry gamey flavor. Wow, the spice is in that. I like to cool it first after the You cool it first? Fast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 do that. Man, pressure cooker changed the game, huh? So you have to keep doing that. We're about to open the pot. This is going to be amazing. Let's do this. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is going to be so good. Nice and colorful. Still nice and rich, dark flavors. Yep. All the ribs. Got pieces of the tail right there. Gonna be nice. Oh, look at that. That's super gelatinous. What is this? It looks like a tail. Yeah, like, that's skin. That's skin, yeah, yeah. Just by the, just by the tail. You wanna tease this? Ooh, but it's gonna be so hot. Just blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it. Blow it hard. You won't blow him. You won't burn him like this. Mmm, mmm, I like the sweetness. You know what it reminds me of? Mm. Pepper pot. A little yeah. bit of that taste of pepper pot. Like that casa reap. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Pepper pot is my favorite dish in Guyana. That's the national dish of Guyana. But this is manicu, curry manicu. That's what you call this one? Stew. 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 A possum eats everything. It's an omnivore. So it eats fruits, it eats small little animals, right? So it's gonna be a little gamey, you know, a little tender. I've eaten deer, I've eaten uh, armadillo, I've eaten iguana. This is gonna be great. Yeah, man, be good. Just let it simmer for a little while and then we good. Oh wow, it's ready. This is almost the same as pepper pot, man. It's the same thing. It's great. Just with a, a possum. <laughs> this is called heaven in a bottle. Heaven in a bottle. Yeah, it's American. This is like um, natural Viagra. Oh. With a lot of hops. It is so potent. All the hops from the mountain in here. It smells like perfume and alcohol had a baby. <laughs> That's what it is. We're gonna try it? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let's fill this good cup right here. I'll pour it. I'll pour it. Hey guys, we're in Grenada. I'm ready. I'm sure there's some special herbs in here we all love. Some just got me, guys. And what's that chaser next to you? Yep. Yeah, we need it. So we have a chaser there, and this is called behind the counter? Under the counter. Under the counter. Yeah. So that's uh, whenever you go to any so, yeah. bar, you ask for that. Under the counter, and they'll give you a special alcoholic beverage. Mostly the, the, the local rum shops. Not all bars they will yeah. try. Let's we'll try chase it. it a little LLB. A little LLB? Yeah. Ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good one. Oh, gosh. That's nice. That was wild. A second one I can't. Here, you want that, Nate? All right, I'm gonna go slow, I'm gonna go slow, 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 I'm back. Yeah, you gotta take it one shot. It's nice, it's nice. All right. Yeah, see, the reason, these are like legal rums, legal alcohol. This is not really what's recommended. So if they come there, say, give me a shot of what's under the counter. So that way, you call it under the counter. What a big man. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh, it smells good. Go, let's go. The, the manic is ready. Voila. 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 Your big eater How big eat today? Today's big eating boy. Look at the brown. So you judge the quality of your stew based on the brown. If it's black, it's not a good stew. If it's golden brown, that's a good stew. 
See the richness and the thickness in the sauce? It'll go nice with your bakes, man. I can't wait. This is going to be the best. Oh, wow. Look at this. <gasps> wow, so fluffy. Nice and fluffy. It's hot. It's hot. Now, oh, look at this. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. This, with this. Rip it and just let it go, man. Go eat. Oh, yeah? Look at the guys. I'm going to take a piece and go right straight in here. Look at that. I'm going to absorb that. It looks exactly the same as Pepper Pop. <laughs> this is so good. This is going to be the best thing of all time. Mmm. It's coconut beaks. It feels, it's lots of cinnamon. So what spices are in here though? Local, <clears throat> I never want to tell you that. Never tell me that. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's just see local. Here we go, Manicou. Mm. It's so hot though. Mm. It, it feels like almost like a nice barbecue glaze on top. Yep. So grab it. This is how you eat bush meat. Texture yeah, good? Mm hmm. Not little bone. No. Just little bones, right? Tiny bones. Wow, but it's a little rib. It's a. I'd say, I don't know how to explain the, the feeling of this, but it's like a, like a thick layer of cinnamon glaze. That's like how I feel about it. No, it's, it's the stew. It's not too watered down. Look at that rib. And look, so you got the meat. You have, you have the meat, you have the fat. Fall off the bone. Fall off the bone. Well game. You know, I have a little possum living outside my house. <laughs> I feel bad now. You just might be eating it. Maybe soon I'm gonna take off your skills, bud. Do you eat this a lot? So I remember one time when we in the bush hunting like that. Sometimes, you know, we go miles out in the bush and we ain't hold one. Not one. Not even one. But sometimes we go, we go like 14, 15. Whoa. One time. Yeah. And we have, we have a one dunk, one shot, one dunk. So we try not to miss at all. Shooting. Incredible. One bullet, one bullet, but we don't waste shots. Very efficient. Five shots, five man. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we, you shoot a man and go, and then it stick up in the tree, don't fall all the way to the ground. Oh, wow. But most of the times, thanks to the dogs, because we also hunt with dogs. Thanks to the dogs, and like the dogs will run out in front. And yeah. start hunting down. <laughs> the dogs will call back. Then we know, all right, beast. The other thing we don't say in the bush, when we see one, it'll be like, beast! Oh, you scared them? Yeah. No, no, no. That is a call, so you're not a partner who hunt and go, no, all right, well, you see oh, one. So it'll one be like, beast! And everybody know, well, him up. And you learn from your dad how to, how to do this? Yeah, my dad and him used to hunt. Yeah? Back in the day, yeah, man. That's why I fell in love with this, let's call it Sting Beast. <laughs> man, this is some really good bush meat. Yeah, man. It is, but, I think that the skin and the fat together. Mm. So, it's not everybody that knows to cook it with flavor. You know what I mean? The key to get it nice is getting all the glands and the ring part of it. And then after, just add a local flavor. And it jazz it up and you get it like that. All the time. Not necessarily traditional, but we've been eating that for uh, forever. It's not like uh, we have it as a national dish like our uh, oil. Yeah. But some people will literally kill for manku. <laughs> we love it. Dude, I love it. That is a leg, by the way. Mm. <laughs> it's an amazing leg. <laughs> yeah, I took it down to the, to the bone, bone, man. To the bone. That's how you do it, guys. Get the bake and just go like this. And you suck up all the you need. Look at this, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Dude, I'm having a blast. Look at yes, all this. I'll tell you, I've been having heavenly experiences here with the food. What, what's your real opinion on it, Bobby? Everybody should try it. <laughs> if you like sweet gravies with some richness, plus the meat, nothing like this meat. So you do it here? Uh, yeah, we do it. No, anybody can come and order? Anybody. 
It don't last. When we, it when don't we last. Now nah, we get honors like from my uncle. Yeah. Is that delicacy for some people? Oh man. I'm done. <laughs> LinkedIn. Thank you so much. Anytime. This is my favorite dish in Grenada. Stew Manicou. <laughs> Apostle. Respect. Respect, bro. Thank you so much. That was yes, amazing. Sir. Thank you for taking us on a, you know, a tour. Anytime, bro. Anytime, man. Come on again. Next time. For sure. Cool. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Lobsters, let's go. Thanks, Linton. A pleasure as always. Fresh lobster grill and bar. We're gonna have grilled lobster and some under the counter. Right. It's not gonna be Yes, you do that. I'm talking about the manicure. Delicious manicure. Oh my gosh. Guys, smell the grill right there. Whoa. Smoking lobster. He's all ready to go on the plate. Right now, I am cooking the garlic bread and I'm turning it because the fire is really hot so I don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. And also I'm cooking a lobster on the side. So, delicious. Yeah. So we're cooking some garlic bread or we're heating it up. Now we're, and then we're gonna cook the lobster, the lobster, look at this. Yeah. It's too much lobster. Turn your legs off already. Yeah? Well, it's it's yeah. infinite, it's a mountain. So these are your lobsters going on here right now? So what, this is a spiny lobster, right? Yeah, these are spiny lobsters. Spiny lobster is Caribbean. Yeah. This is more warmer waters. Uh, you have, what is the other lobster? The one in Maine. Oh. It's a um, different lobster. lobster? Uh, there's a rock lobster, a Maine lobster, right? Yeah. yeah. Spiny right here. I'm the fisherman, my name is Elton. And I go out with my fishing boat and my crew. And I got a snare. Many people do pots, but they're not successful down here. So I get my steer, I put in a tail, and I carry like maybe 20, 30 of them. So I can carry all that amount of lobster one time in the bottom with me. Scuba diving. So you go down there and grab them? I go down there and grab them. Yeah, because they go backwards, so you just put the net behind them, right? Uh, basically, they're in a hole, or they're just lying on the bottom. So you just go down, and you basically choose which ones you want because there's a lot of smaller ones that you can take. Yeah. So you choose the size you want and there goes your lobster right there. So is there a lobster season here in Grenada? Yeah, yeah from uh, September to April. What are you adding there? Yeah, you get to stir the butter. It's the garlic butter right here. You stir it, so you get all the juice from the garlic. ready like pretty and I'm gonna put some extra butter on them just make sure they're nice and juicy and that's it that's it I'm ready all this for us all this for you guys I hope so bro I'm starving oh good water beautiful vibes I love how you hear nature right here <coughs> crickets bugs they're all just enjoying life. So what we got here, we got some lobster from the grill. We got some garlic bread and, and mashed yam. Mashed yam. We haven't had that yet. Perfect. Nice little lemon. Pour all over this lobster like that. And I go in here and I get this beautiful succulent. Ooh, yeah, that meat. Oh, that's Creole Lambi. We got the Creole Lambi, which is Creole Kong. So, curry Kong. The lobster. Mm. All the mashed yams, like mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. Kong with tomato paste. I'm gonna feel such one. You have no idea. Oh, 
for me. I'll be like, conk. Oh, my bread. Right there. It reminds me of a Chinese pasty dish, but not as sweet. Mmm, right bread. The conk. Oh, so fresh. Oh, made with love. Now I'm gonna just go in here for the rest of this beautiful lobster. Oh, how smoky it is. Oh wow, the butter. Yes. Like that. What do you guys think? Would you eat this? I'm sure you would. My man. Hey, no worries, no worries. It was so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. The lamb with the garlic bread? Yeah. Wow, what a combination. Yes, man. Oh, I'm man. You like it. So good. I'm done. Well, welcome and welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I had manicu, I had lobster, surf and turf for yeah. the ages, bush style. Yeah. And lambie. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you the next one.